What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name is Nate, and uh, I told you guys that I would be picking up the guns for the rest of the year, uh, at least until duck season, and um, I lied. So it is Mardi Gras today, and over here in Louisiana, I don't know how it is for you guys out of state, but in Louisiana, Mardi Gras is a big deal. So I'm actually off of work today, and uh, I'm going to try to go after these tree rats one last time. I'm going to try to shoot some squirrels before the season ends, so... I'm over here, a little piece of public land. About to walk in, getting my stuff together here. So, y'all come along. Yeah, hey, y'all, I couldn't pick up the guns until I absolutely had to. I just, I don't know, I felt like I needed to get out and go walk in the woods today. I love it. I love getting out and just walking through the woods. And today I wanted to come out here all by myself and just be, you know? Got him. Let's go get our hands on him. Hopefully he's not too lively. There he is. Heck yeah. First one of the day. I need seven more, but I tell you what, I walked a good ways back here and didn't see a whole lot. They came in here. They must have come in here recently and they cut all this underbrush in here. And it's uh, it's hard to be stealthy. Because, I mean, they can see you from a mile away, so. Whenever I just shot, I heard other squirrels running around, so I know there's more in here. But they probably saw me while I was walking in. So I gotta, I gotta be real slow and stealthy walking through here. I'm gonna give it a minute to calm down before I start walking again. If you hunt squirrels long enough, you start to notice that they got these little subtle and faint noises that they make. Whether it's them moving around the tree or these little chuckles that they do kind of under their breath. And uh, I can hear that there's squirrels around me. Not very far. But they're, they're, they're making these certain sounds that they make whenever they're kind of spooked. And they're getting to the other side of the tree. They're hard to spot when they're doing that. When they know you're there. They don't allow themselves to be seen. I'm just taking my time walking real slow. I'm trying, I don't think there's enough squirrels to where I can just sit. I need to cover some ground and just keep watching. 
all in a distance because the best thing that I can do is spot a squirrel from a long ways away right now. Because if I get close and he knows I'm there, he's going to continue to be on the backside of the tree or go in a hole. Where did you go? See him. See if I can get him to come out. See if I can get him to come out. Though. in a deep hole because I can see him but I hate to shoot him and then he uh, falls in the hole and not jumps out because sometimes you shoot him they jump out the hole and sometimes you shoot him they fall in the hole so you gotta watch when they're teeter tottering on being in and out of a hole when you shoot them sometimes they fall back in sometimes they jump out it's not a risk I'm willing to take Model ducks hitting a feed call. Dig, 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 How was cool. Wow. Couldn't tell what kind of bird that is. Might be an eagle or something. They just went over there in that tree and squirrels scattered everywhere over there that's just to show you though there's squirrels here they're just slick <laughs> come on back and make them scatter come on back hawk first thing to see where they at that is a big old fox squirrel Pretty sure that's what that is. Oh, my Lord, that is a big fox squirrel. Wow. What a stud. Oh my lord. That's the biggest squirrel I ever killed, y'all. My lord. Y'all, I have always wanted to shoot one of those white-faced fox squirrels like that the ones with the little white on the paws and the face 
A lot of times they even get that white tip on their tail. I've always wanted to shoot one of these. Always. I mean, this is an absolute trophy to me. I know a lot of people don't, don't look at squirrels like trophies, but this is a trophy to me. I mean, that's, wow. In one season, I got the two squirrels that I've always been after. I got my black squirrel back in October, and I finally got this one. Wow. What a beast, y'all. This happened so unexpectedly. My God, I did not expect that to happen. I've only seen the regular cat squirrels, the gray squirrels out here, ever. And uh, man, I'm just walking through here. That, that, that hawk came through. I stirred everything up. And uh, I got to walking in here and, and just happened to glance up on this tree. And I almost didn't even believe it at first. When I looked at it, I said, like, what the heck is that? And then I said, that is a giant fox squirrel. I saw the white on the face and the black on the head like that. I said, that's a giant. <laughs> I'm stoked right now, y'all. Wow. Sweet. I just don't get me any of these, you know, where I'm from. Uh, you see them from time to time, but I, I just don't ever get, a chance, get an opportunity, you know. Super stoked. I was thinking about laying down and taking me a nap, but I think I'm gonna keep walking because a lot of times this time of day, them squirrels will be sleeping on the limb, just just basking in the sun, just sleeping on a limb. And uh, I might be able to catch a couple of them slipping. I think I kind of caught that, that fox squirrel slipping. I don't think I would have killed that thing if it wouldn't be later in the morning like that. And that I think that that hawk really helped me out because I think he was up in the tree. And I think when that hawk came and landed, I think he shot down that tree. He really didn't have nowhere to go. Hawk was in the tree. I'm on the ground. He's kind of screwed. And I think that's part of the reason why I ended up getting him. I'm not quite sure what kind of squirrel. I know it's a fox squirrel, but I don't know what kind of fox squirrel. They have different types of fox squirrels. So I'm going to call in my buddy Ben that I shot my black squirrel with. He's kind of a, an expert in this field. So we kind of, we're going to do a little phone a friend here. And I'm going to see what kind of squirrel that is. See if he answers. What's going on, Nate? What's up, Ben? How you doing? Good, man. How you been today? Man, I'm good. I'm out squirrel hunting, bro. I got you, man. I'm soccer league cleaning as we're speaking. Ooh. All right. Y'all catch them good or what? Yeah, man. They kind of started. I thought the water might have been a little cold, but I got about 20. Heck yeah, dude. One day we need to get together, do a little soccer league fishing. That's, that's, uh, that's one of the things I'm trying to learn how to do right now. Well, look, I shot one of them fox squirrels with the white face and the, and the white paws. What kind of squirrel is What kind of fox squirrel is that? It's a Bachman's. It's a Bachman's fox squirrel. Bachman's fox squirrel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured you'd know. Yeah, man. That's that's like the biggest squirrel you can get in the state. And they come in all kinds of phases. Hmm. Well, I got me one. I'm stoked about it, dude. I think I'm going to mount him with that black squirrel that I killed with you. Well, man, that'd be a beautiful mount. I've been chasing that squirrel since I was a kid. Yeah? Yeah, man. That's uh, I've seen him before and never got a chance to shoot one. Bachmans are kind of specific to the pines, too. Are they That's really? Not... Yeah, they are. Well, Ben, but... I appreciate the information, buddy. I'm going to get back to hunting. Well, yeah, dude. I hope you kill some more. I hope so, too, buddy. Thank you. All right. Let's keep moving. Got me another one.
from this time of the day, them squirrels, they just, they're not really out moving around. They just sitting on a limb, you know, sometimes they're just sleeping, sometimes just resting. They don't do a lot of moving, so you got to move slow in the middle of the day. three slow morning this morning y'all but I'm gonna stay after Sleeping on a limb, middle of the day. <clears throat> that one was hard to spot. Could barely see him up there, but I saw just enough. He actually, I looked at him, I said to myself, I think that's a squirrel. I said, I'm almost sure. And I was getting ready to shoot it, thinking worst case scenario, I shoot a branch. <laughs> and then he barely flinched. He flinched just enough. And I said, oh, yep, that's a squirrel. But I was almost 100% sure it was a squirrel. Sure enough. <clears throat> Love it. Gotta love it. In the middle of the day, you can shoot squirrels. You just gotta take your time and you gotta spot them. You just gotta walk a little bit, stop, and just scan all the branches. Just go through and scan them all and then keep on walking. You can look back at the same trees too. Cause sometimes you get a different angle. You couldn't see them from the front side, but you go around the back side and then you can see them. So. You just gotta hope they don't move. <laughs> a lot of times they think you can't see them and so they won't move. All right, y'all, I'm back in the truck. Four squirrels today, not a limit, but it was a real good time. I did end up getting this big dude here. I'm probably gonna put him on the wall, but my black squirrel, I mean, what a stud he is, huh? Look at that, I love it. Always wanted to get me one of these, y'all. And today I finally was able to cross that box. Um, I think all the squirrels that I wanted to get in my lifetime, I've finally been able to get now. I got the black squirrel earlier this year, hunting with my buddy Ben, and then came out here on this piece of public land and got this one. So really stoked about it. I've never seen one of these out here before. And here it is. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I feel like a kid. <laughs> Definitely gonna mount this one. Uh, the other three are going to get eaten probably pretty soon. So, well, I really appreciate you guys for watching today's video. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.